Hi Aries, what's up? Welcome to your reading. Uh, so what I'm seeing here is with the first card, he has the nine of swords here. Uh, I do feel that this person out here right now is extremely, extremely restless right now. This person has a lot of regret. Okay. This person is going through a lot of trauma. They have a lot of sleepless nights. Okay. I also feel that this person is obsessively thinking about you or thinking about the connection. I do feel there could have been a breakup, a separation of some sort, or maybe you guys are not in communication here. Because as the overall energy here, I do see the Knight of Swords here, which means that this person is desperate to talk to you. The Knight of Swords, I wouldn't say is the best of energy in communication. Yes, it does give you a lot of clarity. There's a lot of clear communication here, but it comes in with that uh, a vengeance. Okay, it's a very vengeful energy. It's a very, uh, it's an energy where you know um, the person is not wanting to talk to you uh, in any kind of emotions. This person is coming off as very unemotional. Okay, very detached. They're just coming in. They're acting without thinking here. But then their feelings here, like they would want to talk to you right now. But with their nine of swords here, this person is stressing about how they're gonna make it happen here. The Four of Cups is telling me that either this person here rejected an offer that you gave them before. Maybe you asked them to marry you. Maybe you wanted them to commit to you or something like that or take it vice versa. But this is telling me that this person here could be having a lot of other options also. Maybe they have a lot of options out here, but none of the options are something that is emotionally satisfying them. Okay. They are stuck on you. So yes, they could be entertaining other people here. This is just for a few of you. If you know this, they could be entertaining for a few people here, but they're not happy. They're emotionally very dissatisfied even if they have other options here. If not, then this is someone here who fears rejection here. This person does want to come to you. They do want to talk to you, but they know that they rejected your offer in the past year. So now they've come to a point, they're at a point where they don't know if you're going to be okay with, accept, with, accept, with accepting them back. Okay. But yeah, it's, a, it's an energy where this person is emotionally very, very disinterested. Okay. Or right now they're just plain bored. Without you, their love life sucks. I'm just going to say that. Their love life sucks. Even if they have options here, it's none of them interest them. Okay. There is this disinterest coming from their side out here. But the nine of swords, wow, that's a very painful energy, you know, where the person keeps thinking obsessively, like crazily. They're in their head all the time, up at night about you, okay? So in the daytime, probably this person is a little busy, occupied, okay? Probably with work, but then at night time, they again think about you. So their mental state is pretty screwed up here. With the four of cups here, their emotional state is screwed up even more. With the strength here, I feel that this person here is trying to gather the courage to come towards you, to talk to you here. But they know that something's going to take a lot of um, inner strength in order for them to come towards you. But I feel with the strength here, this person is kind of holding back. They're trying to control their emotions. They're trying to think more logically in a way where they don't want to rush in. Okay, Although they would like to with the Knight of Swords, they would like to rush in here. But the strength is telling me that they want to take it very slow and steady. Okay. However, I'd still like to clarify what's the strength here. Why is the strength here? Why is the strength here? I could see the three of swords, but it didn't make it. Three of... Page of swords, yeah. See, this person here wants to um, think before coming towards you, okay, with the page of swords here. So you have someone here who's spying, stalking, okay, keeping an eye on you. This person could be someone here who's even, if this is a new energy out here, Okay, then this person's trying to get more information about you. If this is someone who you've already been with, an old energy, someone you have history with and you've, you're in separation right now, you're not talking to them, that's for sure. I do feel that the Aries that I'm reading for, you're not in communication with this person here. But someone here is still keeping an eye on you and before they come towards you, okay, they want to do all their research. They want to get all the information. Are you single? Are you with someone? Are you interested in them? Are you just going to completely, you know, reject them? Something like that, alright? But yeah, they are keeping an eye on you for sure, okay? It's a very analytical energy okay constantly thinking this person is a lot in their head you know only if they came out of that uh, negative zone with the four of cups here which is an energy where you're just uh, you know into that stagnant mode okay if they could end that stagnation they could come towards you with a new perspective but for right now they're stuck where they are mm -hmm. all right so yes this person here definitely knows that with the Ten of Swords here, something ended badly between you both here, okay? The Ten of Swords is a very painful energy. It could be a painful ending to a connection. It could be a breakup, okay? A breakup that really, really hurts. Or this is just this person out here who probably feels backstabbed, betrayed, cheated by you or you by them, 
all right ten of swords is an energy also where um that's a lot of mental exhaustion here see this person in their feelings from the nine of swords they're going to the ten of swords here okay in their feelings from their feelings into their intentions here so yes there has been an ending out here okay something out here happened between you both which is kind of disturbing them okay mentally they are very very disturbed by whatever happened between you both here could even be something that is causing a lot of mental exhaustion in their life all right with the seven of cups here as their intentions here this this is telling me that this person um so they they, they they dream about you they fantasize about you there's a lot of wishful thinking out here this is the card of procrastination there's a lot of wishful thinking out here i want to be with aries i'd like to marry aries why i say that is because we have the 10 of cups here as their overall intention card which means that this person wants a happily ever after with you you're their ultimate emotional fulfillment out here okay but yeah something stopping them with the four of cups in their feelings okay which is why this person probably feels a uh, fear of rejection here but the seven of cups is telling me that yes they have a lot of daydreaming uh, there's a lot of i want this with aries i want that with aries oh it would be so lovely to be with aries you know i'd like to marry aries i'd like to have kids with aries but i'm not doing anything about it that's what it is so they want all this with you but they won't do anything about it okay but the page of cups here in their intentions here there are chances they may reach out to you but this is still their intentions i'm not doing their actions this is their intentions here which means they do intend on reaching out to you okay now there are chances for most of you you guys are uh, something went wrong in your relationship or you guys are not talking or even if you are currently in a relationship with this person things may not be going that well here so what i feel is that this person must come towards you and have like an initial um Uh, they want to make that initial emotional gesture towards you this looks like an apology to me i feel this person here wants to come towards you apologize there's some kind of emotional uh, gesture that they want to make towards you and act towards you where they want to reach out to you this could be a text a phone call something like that it's very emotional out here okay but yes uh, this person does want to reach out to you okay because again with the seven of cups here this there's a lot of uh, you know daydreaming out here about you although they know things ended out here they do want to reach out to you okay but it's just a part of their intentions out here i feel that this person does see you as marriage material okay that's one thing that i do see here let's see uh what's the i do feel that they what's the page of cups no what's the seven of cups let's clarify the seven of cups there could be two reasons either like i said this person has wishful thinking or they have a lot of options okay and they're very confused about what they should do okay what's the seven of cups here let's clarify what's the seven of cups clarify the seven of cups seven of cups please okay okay yes so i still feel clarify by the nine of wands here so i do feel that this person is not all about options they're more about i want you i want aries i want to be with aries but they're very guarded they're being very very careful there are chances that this person could have had a very bad past experience so past experiences either with you or with someone else could be something that could be stopping this person from completely pursuing this relationship out here because i do see a lot of cups here which means the emotions are definitely there out here i feel they're controlling themselves and they're stop they're holding themselves back because i feel that if they want to reach out to you because things could have gone pretty bad between you both they know they need to have a lot of courage a lot of strength you know they need to be really brave and make that bold move to come towards you and talk to you but they won't do it they probably haven't even told you that they want all this with you maybe they're just tight lipped about it out here but i do feel that this person is very very guarded okay they're keeping you at an arm's length I feel their guards are up. Okay, so this person is very close to opening up with you, but uh, they don't trust you right now, or probably they just don't trust anyone right now. This person has trust issues for sure. Okay, and um, they could be watching you, which they already are with the page of swords. So this person is watching you from a distance, uh, keeping an eye on you, but still not doing anything about it. So I don't see any action, action cards. as such but yes with the page of cups here it does tell me that in their intention it is to reach out to you with that initial communication here okay where he hey, what's up you know like something very small okay which what which would if, if things have gone so bad between you both with the 10 of swords here this initial page of cups would it really excite you is what i'm getting okay because they got to do something bigger in order to get your attention 
but yeah with the page of cups it's like a small apology like you know like i'm sorry about this can we talk or can we be friends or something like that out here okay but yeah the love is there the ultimate goal is to have that happily ever after with you but they're too scared and too afraid to approach you. all right so that's what i have for you guys hope this reading resonates and i'll see you next time bye bye